Hi, I'm Alistair, and in this video I'd like to teach you about this. This is a resistive touch screen of the sort that you might find on a tablet or on a touch control PC or on your smartphone normally. Now in all those cases there'll be an LCD display behind it, uh, but here I've just got the glass which is the touch sensor itself uh, and I've got it wired to an Arduino. So if I show you the output that the Arduino serial monitor is capturing, what this is going to do is actually give me a coordinate position where my finger touches the board. So if I put my finger in the middle, I'm trying to jam it against my shoulder so that I don't, uh, I don't get any interference. Now if I move my finger up and right, you'll see the X and the Y coordinate values both increase. If I go down to this bottom corner here, they both uh, decrease. And in theory, any point on the board, I could uniquely identify as a coordinate position. Uh, now that might actually be easier to identify if I set that up as a graph instead. So here in the midpoint here you can see the blue line is the X coordinate. Uh, as I move up here both of them increase and at the bottom here they both decrease. And then I go to the uh, bottom right hand corner so I've got a large X value and a small Y value. And then at this corner here I've got a high Y and low X value. So here's the wiring. Um, so my touchscreen has got five wires. There's a variation of a touchscreen that only uses four wires, but I'm using five wires. Um, and what happens is four of those wires, so this wire, this wire, and the two on this side, are going to digital pins two, three, four, and five on the Arduino. And these are configured as outputs, and they correspond to the four corners of the touchscreen. The pin in the middle, well, that is going to one of the Arduino inputs. So I'm using A0 here. And what's going to happen is that the, the digital out, so these corner pins here, are initially going to be set so that the two at the bottom have a low signal sent to them and the two at the top have a high signal sent to them. So we've created a, a kind of a vertical gradient in the y-axis from 0 up to 5. And when a finger is touched somewhere on the plate, it's going to uh, be positioned somewhere along that gradient. And that will tell us uh, how far in the y-axis the uh, finger is touched. And then what will happen is that the, uh, these output pins will change so that then we have the two at the left-hand side set to zero volts. So a low signal will be written to them. And the two at the right hand side will have a high signal of 5 volts written to them. And that will create a gradient in the horizontal x-axis. So again, a sensor reading will be taken from the middle pin. But this time, the voltage between 0 and 5 will represent how far it is in the x-axis. So we take two readings very quickly from this analog input pin here. Uh, this will give us a, a value somewhere between 0 and 1023 first of all for the uh, y-axis and then for the x-axis and we combine them together to get a uh, 2D coordinate. And here's the Arduino code so it's pretty straightforward. Um, we just declare those pins which I uh, showed in the wiring diagram so these are constants. We've got 2, 3, 4 and 5 they're going to be the digital output pins and we've got A0 being the analog input pin. Uh, we then just define two global variables which are going to be x and y. I've made them global so that even though they're set in the loop function they could be accessed by another function outside of it uh, if you want to in the future. Uh, in the setup function we just loop over each of the corner pins and declare them as digital outputs. Um, we don't need to declare the analog input pin as an input, it already will be. Um, and we'll start the uh, serial connection just so we can monitor on the uh, serial monitor what values are being detected. And then in the loop function, uh, pretty much as I described, what happens is we first of all set the, uh, the right hand pins to a high value. So we send a high value from digital right. That's going to set them to be 5 volts. The two on the left hand side we set to be low value, which is 0 and we uh, take a reading from the sense pin with that configuration there that will give us the uh, uh, amount along the x-axis um, and then in the uh, to get the y reading we set the two top 
uh, pins, so the top left and the top right pin we set high, and the two bottom pins we set low, and then we do another reading of the sense pin, and that will give us uh, how far up the screen has been touched. Um, and then all I'm doing at the moment is just printing those coordinate pairs as an output to the serial monitor. Uh, that's it.